OBGYN. I am nervous. <laughs> so I decided to vlog. Um, this will be a TMI. I'm sorry if you're eating, but yes, I am on my way to my OBGYN for a checkup. <laughs> Ever since I delivered Clyde, my period hasn't been normal. I have period twice a month ever since I delivered Clyde. And it's not a joke. It's it's pretty heavy. That makes me dizzy all the time. This is the first time this month that I still have it. And this is the 10th day. And I don't really feel good. I, I, I don't know. I don't feel like myself. So, I set an appointment last Wednesday. I call her. Uh, she sent me a prescription, just extra iron supplement, just to get until Friday, which is today, to get um, my appointment so I can come. And she just wanted to run some tests to make sure that I'm not, I'm all good down there. Um, hopefully, she can prescribe. She wants to prescribe me to stop my period, and after that, then I guess I have to do a pap test, um, some more tests, just to make sure everything is good. But yes, um, it's been it's been concerning. Yep. I never expect that it's going to be a cold morning. I thought I thought it's cold only inside our house. <laughs> and then after that, hopefully all the tests I keep praying and keep my fingers crossed all the tests uh, will come back good. And yeah. That's my dilemma this time <laughs> for now. And I hope I can have a meds or prescription to stop this bleed and, you know, be a normal woman. I'm tired. <laughs> and then after that, after my OBGYN, I want to drop by at Ross. Construction going on. One of my friends, she's a vlogger as well, Sister Annabelle. She is going home this month to Philippines, and I don't know, I'm just planning if ever I see something, then I can send something to the Philippines. Just small items. Maybe she had a really big, uh, a lot of things to carry too. So, because it's uh, March and April is the birthday months of my favorite people in Philippines. So hopefully, I can find something nice, not too bulky, so I can. Have Miss Annabelle take it for me and gave it to my favorite beloveds in Philippines. So we'll see if we can find something. First mission is to go to the LBGYN to solve this problem of mine. close to my OBGYN. I don't think I can vlog inside. They are still pretty strict. Um, which I really like it. You know, as a pregnant mom, before 
it, it really, it's such a relief that they're strict and, you know, that you feel safe that you were not going to get sick or any infections because it's, they are taking any precautions to take care of all the moms, all the women in their, uh, as their patients, pregnant or not. So, yes, they are very strict, only patients only, uh, mask on, and even if you're wearing masks, they still give you a new mask inside in the clinic, and yeah, I'll update you later. Hey guys, so I am back home. Um, my appointment went pretty well. Well, not really. <laughs> Um, they can't run a lot of tests because I still have my period so she prescribed me the medicine to stop my period and next Friday I'm gonna be back there to do the pap, pap test or pap smear and then we're gonna do ultrasound to see what's going on and hopefully we get some answers so yep that was my day uh, I went to Ross. I didn't find anything. It's a lot of people, so I immediately get out. It's I don't like it when it's really crowded. But I went to Kid to Kid. I received a text that they're having a sale, so I took advantage of it. Now we are very fortunate that we rarely buy clothes for Clyde ever since he was born. Our family and friends just keep um, sending us some gift, uh, mostly clothes for glides, uh, gear like this, um, the app seat, baby chair, toys. So, yes, but no, he is growing so fast, and now he is running through nine months, and soon it will be twelve months uh, size of clothes. So I took advantage of the kid to kid sale. They text me that they are having 25% uh, to 50% depends on the color of the stickers of their in their in their shop. So I went there and and got some damage. <laughs> so uh, all of the size that I choose for Clyde's are 12 months clothes. 12 months size. So, yes, let's do a quick haul. Um, if you don't know, kid to kid is a thrift store for babies and they have kids until 10 or above that, I believe. So, they have pretty much a really good selection. Some of them are still brand new. I mean, you know, as you, you know, babies, they grow out, they grow up so fast that they can't wear all the clothes that you have so most of Riley's clothes that she is um, outgrown uh, we took it over there and sometimes we get store credit and then we can just uh, choose what we want on her current size and then we get a big discount so yes most of Clyde's baby clothes we donated it in the hospital um, since we are staying there, I learned a lot of, there's a lot of foster kids and there's a lot of, not abandoned, I don't know what you call it, but, you know, babies, even newborn, even preemie that doesn't have a mom or a dad anymore, like orphans. So, all the old Clyde's clothes are gifted for, for us and we are very blessed that we have family and friends that, you know, uh, give a lot of clothes and toys for Clyde hopefully they keep it coming <laughs> but yes yeah, so we decide to just donate all Clyde's things mostly clothes especially those preemie clothes that he rarely wear because he never wear clothes until he was six months old because he was just in the incubator and you know a lot of apparatus that it's not really necessary to wear clothes so yes all of his clothes we donated in the hospital or some charity that the social worker would have known that they can distribute so maybe in the future if 
Clyde's outgrown of his clothes over here in the house, then yeah, we can I can bring ticket ticket and exchange um, some goods from them. But yes, they have pretty nice selection, especially in the main city, like um, big cities, McKinney or somewhere around the Texas. I don't know uh, if all the states have kid to kids. I know, I remember when we were in Georgia, they have Once Upon a Child and it, it was really nice too, but over here they have Once Upon a Child, but over there in Dallas and it's, it's pretty far from us. But we have kid to kids, so without further ado, let's make a short haul or a small haul for Clyde's clothes. So all of this I spent $48. And then next time when I go shop, they will give me a 25% off the entire, the entire store. So I get a coupon. So I'll just pick up random um, clothes for him that it's cute to me so I got this Oshkosh sleeveless shirt and this is $1.99 $1.99 and it's just you know it's gonna be summer when he's when he will be home so it's gonna be hot so this is so cute <laughs> it says mom epic dude <laughs> so yes the next one I got this from Carter's and it's two ninety nine. Like that it's like looks looks like a formal or proper clothes. You just need to wash and iron and it's um, button down onesie, you know. <laughs> and then this one is even brand new. And the retail price this is six seventy two six dollars and seventy two cents. And I bought it for $3.99. Short, uh, what is it? Overalls. And this is brand new as well. But this is $2.99. A sleeveless overall. Okay, I can't believe Clyde is wearing 12 months clothes now. That big boy is growing up so fast. Then I got this PJs, um, $3.99. It's just Batman. I don't really like colored, dark colored for my babies, but 12 months. It's getting harder to find a pajama that's. Um, he's a medical baby, so we're feeding him through G Tube. So I like to have a snack. And it's kind of, nowadays, it's pretty convenient or easy to find those zipper one. I would love to have it, but it's not really convenient for Clyde to wear those zip one because of the D-tube on his stomach. So it's kind of challenging to find the snap one, but I found this one. It's a Batman. Doesn't matter if it's dark colored. It's just for, it's just a PJs anyway, so get that there's another one this is brand new yep yeah. and I got this for $2.99 so yeah just a bunch of pajamas <laughs> and then I got this overalls it's pretty cute it's a plaid um, overall it's $3.99 you know, it it really looks um, brand new. This is probably the one who, the previous owner of this, they just wear it or wore it one time and they grown out of it. And this one is one ninety nine. It's just, it's from Child of Mine, Carter's too. And it's just a sleeveless overall. One of the clothes that I choose is for uh, summer because it's gonna be really hot over here in Texas and this is another overalls you know for and this one has a red stickers which is mean I guess 25% I'm not sure but this is $2.99 and then minus 25% it's another sleeveless overalls with a cute dinosaur on the side 
And more of the clothes, most of the clothes that I got is Carter's. Yes. Which is still pretty, really, really good condition. Here's another one. This is Shark, but sleeveless overall. And this has a red stickers as well, which is on sale. And this one is from Old Navy, and it's just a sleeveless. It says, I flex so hard my sleeves fell off. <laughs> so cute. But yes. This is $2.99, but um, with the red stickers. And this one is from Carter's, 12 months. And it's just collared overall, like that. And you know, going out, and this is green stickers. This is three ninety nine, but with green stickers, I believe it was fifty percent off. So imagine, and this is really still pretty good. And I got him some shorts as well, and this is one ninety nine. <laughs> Cute short, just one. And then I got some items for Riley. This is $1.99 with 25% off. It's just a skirt, which I like because there's a short inside. Riley really likes a uh, skirt nowadays. So, yes, this is really nice. And I got him a two sets of pajama. This is from Carter's and it's $4.99. And then it's just a short sleeve top. That one. And then there's another one. A Carter's, or Carter's as well. And it's the same price. It's $4.99. This is the top. And pants. The girl's getting really, really tall. So she is wearing 10 years old size now. So yes, that's it for my kid to kid haul. I can't believe I'm shopping for baby boy right now, <laughs> you know. For the longest time, I'm always like going to the girly girl side, but now I'm into dino, dinosaur side and trucks. But yes, it's pretty cute and it's fun shopping in, over there because I mean, it doesn't really hurt because it's not that expensive compared to when you go to the actual Carter's shop and I put probably in this in this amount of clothes I would probably spend like almost two hundred dollars but yes that's all and we'll see you guys later